For the first time ever, I am cutting open Condor agates. I cannot tell you how excited <laughs> I am to see what is inside this condor agate. First time ever cutting these. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. What an absolute beauty. Oh wow. I am smiling so big. <laughs> I know we've only been doing this video for less than a minute probably. If you're liking it, hit that like button. This is awesome. Let's cut open another one. This is our next victim right here. This gnarly nodule. Oh, so excited. Oh, it's yellow. It's so pretty. Let's cut it open. I am so excited. Oh, oh, so milky. I thought for sure there'd be something in there. Oh no. That's crazy. Crazy coloring. There, you know what? Actually, it's harder for you to see. I don't know if this will help. There is actually bands in there. They're just really, really, really hard to see. I think this is still a great candidate for polishing. So I take back what I said. It's a subtle stud. <laughs> it's just a subtle stud. Interesting. I'm glad we took a closer look. A lot happier with that. And now we're on to our final condor agate. I am so excited to cut this one. This one, I believe, is the best one. So saving the best for last. And when we're done cutting it, I have something else that's exciting that I wanna share with you. But before we do, I just wanna say, if you're new here, do me a huge favor, hit that subscriber follow button so you can join on future rock cutting adventures. But let's cut this. I am so Excited to see what is going on inside this. I really hope beautiful agate. <laughs> okay, so this agate right here, you can see it's got a window right here. And it's got a window right there. Similar colors. I am hoping that is what is going on on the inside. Let's peek. Oh, <laughs> not what I expected, but good gosh, that is so pretty. I love how the color just fades around and it's so vibrant over here. That is really, really cool. Now I must say this egg right here, this is my favorite. This is awesome. And now that we've cut all these, I'm gonna head down to the lapidary shop. We're gonna fire up my Cap King and we are going to polish all of these halves. So let's head down there and get to polishing. So we have a pretty big polishing project ahead of us and we are starting out with this condor agate here. We got it through the 220 grit diamond wheel. We're going to do it 
one agate at a time. So these two faces, then these two faces, then these two faces. I'm going to try my absolute best to make it a quick and painful viewing experience for you guys because this is going to take a lot longer for me. I'm thinking this is going to take me two to three hours to polish all of these. I want them to be extra good. So I'm going to get started on this one. When I finish it, I'll show you. So we'll see you when we're done with that one. <laughs> I am very excited because our first condor agate is finished. I'm very happy to say it looks perfect. Oh, this is that really kind of yellow one that I thought was super bland and it looks so beautiful now that it's polished. Those bands, they're not like popping and like the other ones where it's just like in your face bands, so beautiful, but they're very subtle and it took a phenomenal polish, like I said. So I'm excited to show you this one. So let me turn this around and show you that really beautiful condor again. So before I show you that polish, I just want to say I think it's really, really cool that we can go from a cut face like this <laughs> to a really, really beautiful polished face. It's so pretty. And like I said, those bands in there, they're not in your face. It's got little yellow speckles in there as well but it, they're there and it's really really pretty and i love these little bits of yellow that are coming through love it i'm very happy with how the polish took on this one makes me even more excited for this right here <laughs> it's from the heat of my fingers <laughs> um, i'm really excited for the next two because those ones have more bands anyways there you go that's our first one let's move on to the next one Our second condor egg, it is polished. This one was a bit tricky. It had a bigger face, so it was a lot harder to kind of shape it in the way I wanted it to look. I didn't want to do a completely flat surface, just a little bit rounded, so it was just a little tricky to get it there. But once we finally got through that and got some of those surface fractures ground out, we got through there, but so far between the two polishes, I've been polishing for about two and a half hours and my hands are like cramping up. And um, before I move on to the next one, I'm gonna have to take a break, but let's take a peek at that second condo ragged because it looks awesome. It's got such, such amazing depth to it. So as you can see with the faces here, they're not perfectly flat. They have just a slight rounded face polish and here is how they turned out. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet. So, so beautiful. And as you can see, there is so much depth in there, like right there. And it looks like you could just stick your finger in there. That is so crazy. All the way along here. So cool. Such a great piece, took such a great polish. Same with this guy. You can kind of look right in there. You can see how that orange just goes in there. Oh, 
Well, like I said before, I am going to have to take a break and hang up my apron for the night because my hands are cramping, my eyes are super tired, and the last condor agate that I want to polish is my favorite of the three. So I will see you in one second and we will wrap up this last condor agate. I'm so happy that we are all the way through the 8,000 grit. They turned out really great, and it was really fun getting all three of those cut agates and all of its six faces polished. Let's take a look at our very last piece. So there's our first two pieces that we polished, and here is the very last one. Let's see the light play on there. Right down in there, you can see the undercutting and that more I call it more organic. I don't know exactly what it is. It's pretty sweet, but I'm not an expert in any of this. This piece also has some depth to it as well. Beautiful, beautiful quartz in the center. Love that. Here is the other half. Again, there's the light play on there. That undercutting. Not even mad about it. It's really, really pretty. And if you look close to it, it has a ton of depth in there as well. I really love how this piece turned out. This piece is hands down my favorite of the three agates that we cut open. And yeah, really love how this turned out. You'll have to let me know which agate was your favorite from this cutting video. This one right here is obviously my favorite, followed by that one, and then the really cool yellow one. As much as I love all of those pieces, those beautiful condor agates, I did get those pieces with the intent to cut, polish, and put on my Etsy store. So the link to my Etsy store is going to be linked in the description box below. I'm gonna have them up as of this video is being posted. If not, and you missed it, there's gonna be a lot of other stuff on there as well. So go check it out anyway, and follow our store for future listings. Have a lot of really, really cool stuff that's going to be coming up very, very soon. Here's a little sneak peek. That's all I'm gonna show you. Well, I hope you liked today's video. I had a blast cutting those condor agates open and polishing all of them. I'm so thankful that all of them turned out and they were so beautiful, so many great bands. I loved it so much. I hope you loved it too. If you did, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you're new, subscribe or follow so you can join along on future adventures. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.